Okay, today we're going to work on some multi-step equations. We've learned the distributed property, combining like terms. Those are the prerequisites to being able to solve multi-step equations. Some of them include the distributive property, but not all of them. And here we go. That's the distributive property, of course. So it's time to tee up some examples. Example 1. 3x equals 2 times the quantity x plus 4. First thing we'll do is apply the distributive property. And we have a new equation. In this case, we have the variable on both sides of the equation. There's an x on the left side of the equal sign and x on the right side of the equal sign. And we must eliminate it from one side. We could subtract 3x, or we could subtract 2x. That is really up to you. In this case, we chose to subtract the 2x from both sides. And our new equation becomes just 1x equals 8. And that is the answer in this case. So, just a couple of steps to find the answer in this case. Here's our next example. Here we're just going to subtract the 2x from both sides. There was no distributed property. We're left with a one-step equation in this case. That's the great thing about algebra, according to what uh, our astronaut friend is saying here. You could have chosen to move the negative 8 and added 8. Use the additive inverse there or maybe subtract 4 from the other side and use the additive inverse there. But it's always wise to get the variable on one side of the equation as soon as possible. Now to isolate the x, we just add the 8, zero that negative 8 out, and we get x equals 12. And that is the answer. So let's look at example three. I believe I have four of them. Here we have the distributed property on the right side of the equation. The new equation will look like this. Again, it will be dis it, it will be time to move the variable from one of the sides. I see the two x on the left side of the equal sign, a three x on the right side of the equal sign. So we need to get rid of one of those. And it could be either one. I like to get rid of the smaller one. That leaves me with a positive coefficient. We'll talk about that more later. So that's awesome. All of a sudden we are left with just a simple one-step equation. One-step equation, excuse me. And we discovered that the 3 equals x in this case. And of course, we love getting right answers. Here we have our distribute on the left side of the equation. So we'll do 7 times the quantity x minus 4. And we'll get 7x minus 28. Now it's time to decide which of those x's to get rid of, the 7x or the 2x. And I like to get rid of the smaller one. So we'll subtract 2x from both sides of the equation. Wind up with 5x minus 28 equals 2. And it is time to start working on isolating that variable. So we're gonna, going to get rid of that negative 28 or that minus 28. And we'll add 28 to both sides of the equation. And it'll say 5x equals 30. It will be time to divide both sides by 5 and get the answer of x equals 6. This is a process you can get good at. So now move on to the six multi-step equations and give them your best effort. Try them. And let's see if you can do them without me.
Once you finish this one, I think it's a good idea to check with your teacher to see if you got it right. And if not, to find out where you may have made a mistake. I believe you can do this. Distribute on both sides of the equation. Decide what to do next. And just do one thing at a time. In this case, I don't see any distributive property. So which term do you want to eliminate first? I know what I would recommend, but it really is up to you. This time I do see the distributive property. But if you're feeling like these are too difficult, go back to two-step equations and watch those. Make sure you're a master of those first. Here you'll distribute on both sides first. And then one step at a time until you solve the equation. Distribute on, first, uh, on both sides again. Here, be careful. I've taught you how to distribute that negative. Remember the invisible number in front of that parentheses. And those are the examples I want you to have in your notebook. Thank you very much for your efforts, and we'll see you next time.